Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Virgo. So it looks like off camera I shuffle and I pull some cards for you. You have passive income. Get some. I don't know if you have some. Or if you don't have any, then the cards are saying you need to get some, okay? Uh, all income shouldn't be to where you are trading your time, you know, for the money. Get some passive income to where, you know, it just really, you've made an investment and the money's coming back to you some type of way, okay? Uh, the condition of being successful or thriving, especially economic well-being. So you've got prosperity here. Very nice. So you are prospering. I heard assets. I heard off camera launch or relaunch. So you got to relaunch or launch something. Okay. You've got somebody who doesn't take a break between relationships ending. So you got somebody who monkey branches from one relationship to the next. And they just, you know, um, somebody who just doesn't know to heal, to give it some time to let emotions settle. Okay. And it could be you, it could be them. Somebody said, when we are together, it's pure bliss. When we are apart, the insecurity set in. So somebody just doesn't trust the relationship. I trust you as far as I throw you, as I can throw you. And when I'm with you, it's all good. When I'm not with you, I don't know who you are with and what you're doing. So, you know, the insecurity set in. So that might be lack of trust on your part or your person's part. But we're going to try to drill down on it. Let's see what's going on here. Um, clarify passive income. I just saw the Knight of Pentacles. So, yeah, you need to make an investment and just let the money steadily come in to you. Let's see. Passive income. Uh, five of Wands. You need to get more than one a thing going here you need to um some of you have you know um you do have some passive income things may be kind of competing or competing goals to where nothing is really growing you know exponentially it's okay you might be in a, a field or you want to get into a field that's very competitive um you have to be up for the fight uh let's see what else Passive income gets some. Okay, Queen of Cups. Some of you, um, I think you're a little bit too emotionally uh, aloof or detached to your money. You just don't want anything to destabilize you. you Maybe this might even be fear of losing or fear of loss, fear of you know not getting what you want, fear of being defeated. Again, it's like I don't know if I want to invest my money because what if I lose it? Um, you know, invest what you know, it's comfortable then, you know, to where you can take a loss on that dollar amount. Um, but don't go into it with that type of mindset. Uh, the queen of cups also. Yeah. Um, so you, you need to l put something in something and let it sit and just watch it grow. It's gonna be stocks. You see how she's got that cup and she's watching, so you need to put your money in something and then just watch it grow. Okay, this is the way you're going to have, you know, prosperity, the uh, economic well-being. Let's clarify uh, prosperity for Virgo. Clarify prosperity. For, okay, yeah, uh, short-term goals, staying focused, uh, doing something at the allotted time, the right time. Get an astrology chart read for you or... Um, to see where the planets are. It's like the universe is really trying to get you to a place where they will propel you. You've got something good going, but they're trying to say, okay, now it's time for us to supercharge your idea. Um, you have made some strides also, overcome some obstacles, uh, but it's about let's still take charge or stay in control so that we can have, you know, seven of swords. Um, Keep your ideas to yourself. You've got a good idea. Keep your ideas to yourself because you can really prosper prosper from this. You really gain from this. Um, make sure you're not stealing anything or someone's not stealing from you. Copyright, relaunch, do something. Um, the stars are, are in alignment. Rele release something on the right date. Launch, relaunch. 
That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to revise the plan here, okay, in order to have prosperity. Revise the plan. You got to go back to the drawing board. Just revise it. Don't throw it all out, but just revise it. You got to fine tune it. It doesn't take a break between relationships ending. Let's see. <clears throat> doesn't take a break between relationships ending who don't take a break let me see who is this but not be you could be someone you're dealing with sad uh pisces could be anybody so the relationship could be ending or transitioning or just going into another phase could be a masculine energy something is ending here um somebody's not taking a break yeah they're going to somebody else with like monkey branching um somebody has to have con consistent gratification or validation or they need somebody to you know stroke their ego constantly um clarify that yeah three of wands somebody's like reaching out again monkey branch and going somewhere else just to get some type of fulfillment feel the void they don't somebody just doesn't want to feel hurt they don't want to feel pain or they don't want to feel a void there they don't want to feel like there's something missing all right when we are together it's pure bliss when we are apart, the insecurity set in. What is this about? When we are together, it's pure bliss. When we are apart, the insecurity set in. Um, so, yeah, someone makes you very, very happy. Who You feel like this can be the one. They bring you a lot of happiness and contentment. You feel like this could be marriage material. You may even have a child with this person. Uh, you feel like very happy. You feel like they, they are the star and the sun to you. Like, um. You guys could be night and day also uh, very different. But you wonder, Page of Swords, what they're doing when they're away from you. They, Their energy, because they're so different from you, brings up a lot of insecurities. Yeah. Their energy uh, brings up a lot of insecurities for you. Ask questions. Ask ask the necessary questions. Um, talk. Some of you are, are not asking questions because you don't want it to turn into an argument. But you have an inkling or a feeling that something is off. Yeah, especially when someone travels away from you. And they leave or they go on travel. Let's see what the Butterfly Oracle deck has to say for Virgo. does the butterfly oracle deck have to say for virgo butterfly oracle deck for virgo yeah the end of an era so an end of an era is so it could be a relationship ending or just the end of an era of maybe um you're working so hard for your money you're gonna get some passive income or you're thinking about it thinking about where to put your money you don't want to lose it um, you might need to go back to the drawing board in terms of, you know, moving forward. Yeah, joining a group of people who maybe share your same interests or can give you some enlightenment about what to do, how to do it, how to move. Um, entrepreneurs, movers and shakers, someone like that. Uh, heal from your past also. That's what we have here. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you. Are you going to get some passive income? Do you have passive income? Are you thinking about it? Um, do you need to go back to the drawing board so that the universe can then propel you forward? Is something ending for you? Has something ended for someone around you? And they have already found somebody new, quote unquote. Um, also, uh, does somebody cause you insecurity and have you asked yourself why am i insecure let's talk about it down in the comment section all right this is what i have for you get your own personal reading if you want your personal reading but before you do that here on youtube go to the community tab on my channel grab a discount code and then head over to the website and book your personal reading Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.